Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the missing seven-year-old Athena. And she has sadly been found deceased, but she went missing on Wednesday. And I, I didn't know about this case until they found her. Um, unfortunately, it just seems like there are so many missing children and missing people that cases like this just get lost sometimes. And I don't even hear about them. And it's really sad because I don't think it always has been like this. So... Athena, on Wednesday, she got dropped off by the school bus at 4.15 in the afternoon. And her stepmom and her got into an argument of some kind. The next time the stepmom was, like, checking up on her was an hour later, and she was missing. So I know a lot of people have kind of blamed the stepmom a little bit because she let so much time go by before she checked on her. I kind of feel like if she thought she was in the house, maybe she was giving her her space or something. So I kind of feel like maybe, um, you know, maybe Athena snuck out of the house or something because she was mad. Well, anyway, what ended up happening was they said the FedEx driver kidnapped Athena, murdered Athena, hid her body, and may have sexually assaulted Athena, but they have not come out with um, that yet. And they said it most likely all happened within an hour. So she gets off the school bus at 4.15. She disappears and within an hour she's dead. And this case broke my heart. Like I actually cried. A lot of these cases are sad, but they don't make me cry. But this made me cry, I think because a FedEx driver is kind of like a mail carrier, you know, the food delivery guy. Like, there are some people you kind of expect a certain amount of safety around. And the FedEx, you know, driver, how many times are they, like, in a position where they could steal our our uh, packages or something off our porch they could sometimes people let them in their house and you know they could do something but it's like the mailman like you expect a certain amount of safety from someone like in a uniform that's at work so you wouldn't expect the FedEx guy would be kidnapping your beautiful daughter. And they call it a crime of opportunity. So what I think might have happened was, you know, she was upset with the stepmom. And she goes outside and maybe he just made a delivery. Maybe she even like snuck onto his truck because they have that open door. Or she talks to him and is saying, you know, I want to run away or anything like that could have happened. Because she could have been like willingly leaving with him at first since she was mad. And instead of having an endearing moment with her and telling her her family would miss her, they love her and she should go back home, he decides to... Um, kidnap her and kill her and like use her for his pleasure like 
is disgusting. And it makes me think like he's been watching something on the internet involving children. He might have pictures involving children on his phone. Like, that's like a red flag. If you're a man and you are looking at pictures of children like that, you need to stop, you need to get rehabilitated or whatever they say because it's not normal at all. Even if you don't harm a child, it's disgusting because you're actually, I mean, that's like an innocent child and they're not meant to be used or looked at in that way. And it's, it's just disgusting. It's like, why are your urges more important than this little girl's whole life? You know, like she's got a whole life ahead of her, but you wanna waste her whole life for your one hour of pleasure or whatever you got out of it. It's just vile and disgusting and it's like, definitely evil and I feel like that's why I do feel like child molesters and all that they need harsher sentences they need jail time they need like something to make them quit this behavior it's disgusting and it just broke my heart And like, I just watched one show about it. And I don't wanna watch anymore. Like, I don't wanna know any more details about it. Because not only is it the element that a little girl was murdered, but it's the element of who did it. Just, you just cannot trust no one. Literally trust no one with your children. Don't let them out of your sight. I know when I was little, I was all over my neighborhood. I was in the woods. I was in the creek. I was so many places somebody could have snatched me up. There was a guy in our neighborhood, he used to sell chips. And he would have his truck of chips in his driveway and we would go on the truck of chips with him looking for the one we wanted. And he never did anything to us but I think of how easy he could have. So it makes you appreciate the real men and women who treat children with love and respect and protection. Be proud of yourself if you're one of those adults that treat kids with love, respect, and protection because it's Seems like it's getting kind of rare, you know? And you got all these monsters that are waiting for an opportunity. Like, if this guy never had this opportunity, he might not have ever done it. He might have sat at your Thanksgiving table every year. And you would have thought he was a normal family member. But in his mind, he's always looking for this opportunity to do this. Like... And as wives and husbands, maybe check out your spouse's device. Like if you see children on there and you know, bad pictures of children on their phone, I would report them. Like who wants to be living with somebody who at any time, if they had the opportunity would do something like what was done to Athena. But, I just want to tell you guys about this case. 
I'm not gonna look at any more on this case because it breaks my heart. And rest in peace, Athena. I hope she gets justice. It's one of those cases where you kind of hope there's some jailhouse revenge on this guy, you know? And I don't think they should put him in um, protection. Like, how they always want to protect the inmate from the other inmates. Why? Like, no. He needs to not be protected. He needs to just see what happens to him, you know? It's like sometimes I think the best justice is when the other inmates get a hold of them. And so I just want to tell you guys about this case so you all can be watching your children and just don't trust anybody, you know? You just can't trust anybody. Not even the FedEx worker, the mailman. Probably not even their teachers at school, unfortunately. But, I just, I don't know. Some cases just, cases just hit us different. This one hit me different. Because we were all at one time Athena. We were all that little girl, you know, or that little boy that somebody could have did this to. So, shame on the guy that did it and justice for Athena. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah. Fade away.